Hi, welcome once again to Shan Styles and Beauty Channel. So today we are going to find out if trimming really makes our hair longer. Stay tuned. Trimming is defined as the act of um, cutting off your split ends with a trimming scissors or pair of scissors meant for hair. So you just go in and look for split ends and trim them and it supposedly leads to longer hair that it makes your hair grow more healthy if you get what i mean so we are going to check if this is actually true some people swear by it but i just want to check it out so to find how i'm going to find out if this really works trimming really works is that i'm going to get my hair trimmed today i'll show you how i get it trimmed and i'll follow up with the results in 7 to 30 days time to know if my my hair actually grew more than normal because the hair grows about half an inch each month even with my treatment i just want to see if there is like a better impact or more impact that trimming does for our hair so do stay tuned as we move on to how i'm going to get my hair trimmed First of all, you have to check the length of your hair before you trim it so that after you are done trimming, you know how much hair you cut off and to know the length difference, using a tape rule, just go around from the back to the front then to the middle of your hair. Now for the trimming, I got my friend to help me to trim my hair and we are also checking the length of my hair using this my length check t-shirt <laughs> i just bought a t-shirt just to use so for you part your hair into four sections you parted my hair into four sections then you detangle it you thoroughly detangle it so there are no snags there mind you i just got my hair retouched uh, well touched up with relaxer so you kind of section that section you already made and detangle even with a small comb so that you can catch all the the hair all the strands of hair then next you go to the tip of your hair and kind of hold it look for split end and just cut it off is it a what it jesus it's not one inch all round it's what So after trimming, you have to check the length of your hair again so in the following days you will know if your hair actually grew because you trimmed your hair and I'm going in to measure, take the same measurement I took at the beginning, that's from the back to the front then to the middle to be sure and you can see that the back hair, um, we didn't really get as much um, hair cut off because I'm still experiencing postpartum so that's all I finished trimming my hair and in 30 days time we will look at the result and see whether I gained more than 0.5 inch as as a more than normal <laughs> so um just to tell you I don't enjoy trimming my hair at all because I hate cutting my hair but um if it will lead to a longer hair, um, me having a longer hair, I will definitely try and trim it. I know that I didn't go very deep and I'm experiencing postpartum shedding. That's part of my hair problem. So, after trimming my hair now, if it yields a very good result, next three months when I touch my hair again, I will check for split ends and, um, <clears throat> and trim again. So it's very important to use um, a hair scissors, not just any scissors, but you can see this type to trim your ends, to trim it. Don't use any other one because this is basically sharper than normal and gets the job done very well. That's all for today's video. My legs are showing my results will be in 30 days time come March 30th and I can't wait to see what <laughs> my hair 